This is The Bottom Line. The Bottom Line on 938 Live. Now, the year-end festive season is creeping up on us, but Singapore businesses are less optimistic that the last three months of this year will translate to better takings for them. 938 Live's Travis Chiu spoke to Audrey Chia, Chief Executive at the Singapore Commercial Credit Bureau, and asked her why businesses are not as optimistic as before. Local companies with sizable global and regional footprints are relatively more exposed to external headwinds to growth. So recent market changes and the political uncertainties and escalations of conflicts in various parts of the world have dampened the outlook for firms which are more externally oriented. For domestically oriented SMEs and small business owners, will continue to contend with a different set of issues, that is rising cost pressure and manpower issues. And of the six indicators in your business optimism index, new orders was the only one to contract in the fourth quarter. And I understand that the new orders basically have some sort of implications for the manufacturing sector. So what does it say about uh, the health of the manufacturing segment of the economy here in Singapore? Um, We would say that looking at the performance of this year, the manufacturing sectors, although it remains weak, but it is not all that negative because we do observe a pickup in the orders over quarter three. But maybe come quarter four, because we are going into the festive season, so maybe the outlook is slightly lower. Why would um, festive season lead to a less optimistic manufacturing sector? Um, we foresee that coming to the end of the year, Business activities will slow down um, because, in general, a lot of offices around the world are closed for certain periods during end of the year. Right, I see. Now, turning to the other sectors, what is the assessment for the construction segment of the economy? For the construction sector, it ranks atop as one of the most optimism sectors. If we look at the statistics, we could see that the net profit, the inventory levels and the hiring sentiments have moderated downwards compared to a quarter ago. This is largely due to the cooling private the residential market. If it's moderated downwards, um, but overall it's still positive, what is keeping this um, optimism there? In general, from our survey, we find out that local construction sectors, they are still experiencing a growth in terms of construction work that's going on around Singapore and the region. Therefore, they see that the activities happening within the industry is still increasing, So, which is why we see that the industry as a whole um, is pretty optimism. Mm. And what about the outlook for the financial sector? Right. The uptick in the financial intermediary cluster has contributed to the overall optimism within the financial service sector. The increase in borrowing rates within the banking segment and the demand within the life insurance segment have bought well for the financial industry as a whole. Just to wrap it up then, the overall outlook for Singapore businesses, it is considered still positive, right? But just not as much as before. Yes, we believe that the situation is not all that bleak for businesses here. So, for instance, there are various government initiatives and grants which the firms could tap into, uh, such as the innovation and capability vouchers and other loan financing schemes to boost productivity, to streamline business processes and offset any capital costs which will help to keep their business lean, profitable and competitive. That was Audrey Chia, Chief Executive of the Singapore Commercial Credit Bureau, speaking to Travis Teo on the bottom line.